Hello everyone, welcome to another section of Schneider Electric PSE training tutorials where you will learn Schneider Electric PSE programming. So let's see what we have to cover in this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to see how we can dynamically change a timer preset value. In the former cases that we have studied, we have realized that most of the preset values that we have been using, we have been setting them at design time. Okay. We were not able to change them dynamically, that is when the PLC is in the run mode. But we can use dynamic changes to change the timer preset parameters while it is still in the run mode. We are going to use an on timer instruction to experiment with this. So we already explained what an on timer is as well as how an on timer function. So we are just going to employ the same exercise which we studied under the timer instruction and this time around we are just going to modify the exercise so it says uh, design a PLC ladder logic program that will sequentially and continuously flash three LEDs for two seconds each with a start push button a stop push button stops the operation use two other push buttons to change the flashing duration to 4 and 5 seconds respectively so in the former case we had implemented three leds flashing to two seconds each now we want to modify the time dynamically to four and five seconds using two other push buttons okay so you can pause this video and you try that okay so let's see what we have as solution So first this is the wiring setup we still have our three leds like the case of the on timer please visit the tutorial of the on timer we have already explained this and we still have our two switches start and stop and the introduction of two other switches push button zero and push button one and this is the ladder logic program so you can clearly see that the program does not change but what has happened is that we have now defined a variable called a PT and this variable will be the variable that we are going to be changing using this block so you can see that this is the only block that we have added when push button 1 becomes pushed then this contact close and when this contact close this block will operate and this block says that assign a time 4 seconds to a PT so all the times will become four seconds and these LEDs will be flashing for four four seconds and when push button one is now pushed okay that is after having pushed push button zero when push button one is now pushed the time will be remodified to five seconds so push button zero will modify the time to four seconds and push button one will modify the time to five seconds okay so we have already explained how this execute this ladder program works if you want to get more information on how it works please visit the timer on instruction which we have already covered in a previous lesson so right now i'm just going to go into the software to build this logic and test it okay so this is our old circuit which we have created our old ladder logic program which we have which we created under the timer on delay so what we are going to do now is we are going to modify the operation okay so we are going to introduce the new operation so that we can change the preset timer dynamically so to do that first i will go to my variable tab i will have to create a new variable call it so i'll call it preset time let's want to make modification i will change the data type to time and I will give you the default value. I will give you the default value of two seconds. So I'll give you the default value two seconds. And I'll go back to my logic. So I will drop now normally open. Normally open. I'll drop to push okay so i will get the compare block from here the operate block sorry i'll get the operate block from here 
and then I'll introduce it to my circuit. Okay, I'll define this to be PB zero and validate it. So I can give you the address. Mm. And this will be PB1. Give you the address N C21. Okay, so we have to change the type to eBull. Okay. I have to change the type here also to eBull. Which button? Okay, so now I will just have to select that variable, which is this, and I'll assign it the time four seconds. Okay, so I'll just copy that. I'll change this to five seconds. Okay. And I'll change these parameters now to the preset time. So this is a lapse time. I'll have to change this. Oops. Changes also. Okay, so you need to have a good PC. If not, it may be slow at times. Okay, so I'll we'll build our project. Our project looks okay. Okay, so we have no errors. We are going to just connect it and go online. Download the project into the PLC. Okay. All right. So when our program starts, it's going to start with two seconds, and we are going to use this two push button now to modify the time. So first, I will set my start. I'll set it to the high state so that it goes on for two seconds then i will set it low so right now it's operating for two two seconds each okay so remember two seconds was the initial time we defined so it's running for two seconds two seconds let me submit a bit two seconds two seconds yeah just like that okay so if i push this push button now to logic one Okay, so the time will be modified. You see the preset time has been modified now. Okay, I'll just zoom in. The preset time has been modified now to four seconds. Okay, so that's how we can use a switch to modify the preset time. So now they are on for four four seconds. If you are not flashing for four four seconds, four seconds on, four seconds on, four seconds on. And so on. Okay, so if I want to modify it, I will now release this operation and I will now set this other operation to one. Preset time is now modified to five seconds. Okay, so that's how you can modify the preset time dynamically in your application. Okay. So this can be switches, it can be sensors, it can be different Boolean devices which you can use to dynamically change the behavior of your program. Okay, hope that this makes sense. Okay, so let's go back. It can take some time, okay, and study it and test it. All right, 
So let's go back to the presentation. So let's review what we have studied. So we have studied that by default, every timer is associated with some data structure that has all the addresses and parameters of the timer, like for example, the preset parameter, the elapsed time parameter, the inputs parameter, and the your output parameter all those are associated with some data structure some data block for every time okay so continue so we can read or write to these timer parameters by accessing the associated data block like for example we just access the data block and in that data block we're able to modify the preset time okay all right okay good so this brings us to the end of this section and in the next section, we are going to look at the comparison operations. Okay. So please, if you like this video, give it a thumb up, share it, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. And if you like this video, okay, please put it in the comment section. And also, if you think that this video needs some improvements, okay, also please put it in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.